Okay, hi. It's in it's English again. So this week we will go into a new chapter, chapter eight or unit eight. Good luck and bad luck. Okay. Uh, once again, I want to remind you that um, when you finish your work, please um, send it um, to me. Uh, via WhatsApp. Uh, all you need to do is just take a picture and then you can uh, personal message me. Okay, and then the screen is to help those of you, uh, some of you might not have your textbook, so you can look at this video and follow what I am going to teach you. Okay, so today we will do a new unit. It's unit A, good luck and bad luck. Okay, if you want to use your own textbook, the page number is 84. Okay, 84. Okay, so what we will do today um, is we want to do the question one. Okay, we want to do question one, question one, question two. And then question three and four. Okay, so that is our target today. Okay, so what we will do is I will start from the topic. Okay, so topic is bad luck or good, uh, good luck and bad luck. So if you know good luck means something positive, bad luck means something negative. Okay, something bad happens to you. Good luck means when you have good luck, then something good happens to you. Okay, so we will look at um, vocabulary, some new words, and then um, speaking, maybe we will do it um, some other time. Okay, so uh, vocabulary number one. Okay, let me just zoom in so that you can see. Okay, check the meaning of the words in the box, then listen and repeat which ones, uh, which ones can be a person. Okay, there are many words here. So the question says, which word here can be a person? Person means uh, seseorang. Uh, mana di antara kata-kata di sini bo, mm, Membermaksud, maksud dia adalah seseorang. Okay, so we will go through here uh, for this activity. Okay, all you need to do is you write down number one. Okay, let me just put it. Okay, right. So what you need to do in your exercise book. You put down unit eight, okay. You need eight. Good luck. Bad luck, okay. This is your topic. You need topic, okay. So this will be your topic in your exercise book. Okay, and then you start with number one. Question number one. Okay, so the words here. Which one? Can be a person. Okay, I will go through it and then you have to list them down here. Okay, exercise one. How many words, which words mean, uh, mean a person? Okay, then you have winner. Okay, winner. Is winner a person? Is winner a person? Winner to seseorang kah? Okay, if you think it's a winner, uh, if you think winner is a person, then you put it down here. Okay, so winner ni pemenang, pemenang, so dia adalah seorang, seseorang yang telah memenang sesuatu. Okay, and then you go on with the others. The next one, loser, loser, okay, champion, champion. Is it a person? 
if it's a person, then you put it down here. Okay, next, tournament. Tournament. Is tournament a person? Okay, if it's a person, then you put it down here. Okay, if you need to use a dictionary, or you can Google it, the, the, the meaning, then you can uh, try to find out. Supporter. Supporter. Supporter, is it a person? If it's a person, then you put it down here. Okay, next, a team. A team, is it a person? Is it a person? Satu orang, okay. A team, is it satu orang? Okay, next, opponent. Opponent. Opponent, is it a person? Seseorang, kah? Captain, okay. Captain of a team. Captain of a team, is it someone? Okay, race, race, is it a person? Match, match, is it a person? Go, go, okay, is it a person? Okay, okay, next, stadium, stadium, is it a person? Is it a person, stadium, okay? Coach, coach, is coach a person? Okay, okay, just write it down here and then see how many you think is a person. Okay, so my tips here is let me see five, six, seven. Okay, seven. There are seven in the list. Seven, seven words can be a person okay seven uh? okay then move on to the next one okay this one is for number one okay now i move on to the lower part okay number two here number two here read the picture read the picture diary okay this this one picture diary okay let me make it bigger read the picture diary here complete complete the diary with words with words from exercise one okay all the words from here you have to put it in the um, empty space okay okay now i will read it then you find out which word from here okay if you still don't know the meaning kalau belum tahu dia maksudnya you pause this video then you go and find the meaning of the words first then you do this one Okay, after you are done, then, then you continue the video. Okay, okay now. Uh, I will continue here. If you need to pause, you pause. If you don't need to pause, if you understand all the words, then you just uh, continue watching the video. Okay, now. I will read this together with you. So, as you read, you find the words that can fit in here. Okay, right. Our lucky year, our lucky year. It's been a fantastic year for sports at Swallow School. Okay, it's been a fantastic year for sport at Swallow School. Okay, September, what happens in September? Jake Matthews scored a brilliant in the football word against Haley School. Well done, Jake. Okay, two answers. Eh? Choose the answers from here. Okay, what happened in November? Iris Carter in year nine beat William Lee to become the local under 16s chess what 
Congratulations to you, Iris. Okay. January, the what of the girls under 16 basketball what shakes hands with the what from Lindsay School. Swallow School won the game. Okay. Next, we move on to April. April, eight students, eight students from Swallow, Swallow School took part in a what? Between them, they raised 650 pounds for charity. A wonderful achievement. Okay, so took part in a what? Okay. Next, June. Swallow School's Angus Hill got to the final of a national tennis. What? Here's Angus and uh, here's Angus with Mrs. Jones, his tennis. What? Okay. Okay. I give you some time. Complete this. And then what I will do is I will play the recording. Then you have to check your answers. Okay, I give you um, a fee, uh, uh, maybe 30 seconds. Yeah, the words come from the picture, yeah. So this one you have to look at this picture. Let me just remove this one. Okay, now you can see what is this. Okay, and then this this is the football, this is the chess, this is the basketball, this is the tennis. Okay, so now what I will do is I will play the recording and then you want to check, listen and check your answers. Okay, so check number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Unit eight, vocabulary and speaking, sport and competitions. Exercise three. Our lucky year. It's been a fantastic year for sport at Swallow School. September. Jake Matthews scored a brilliant goal in the football match against Healy School. Well done, Jake. November. Iris Carter in year nine beat William Lee to become the local under-16s chess champion. Congratulations to you, Iris. January. The captain of the girls' under-16 basketball team shakes hands with her opponent from Lindsay School. Swallow School won the game. April. Eight students from Swallow School took part in a race. Between them, they raised £650 for charity. A wonderful achievement. June. Swallow School's Angus Hill got to the final of a national tennis tournament. Here is Angus with Mrs. Jones, his tennis coach. Unit 8. Okay, so if you want a replay, you just uh, scroll it scroll it back and then you can listen again okay okay so i think you get the answers but i want to use uh, a bit of time to explain to you the meaning so that everyone uh, 
if you do, if you got the wrong answer, and then now I tell you the meaning, so you can understand. Oh, why why is that the answer there? Okay, so I'll take this away. I will come back to this one. Oh, you know what? Just go uh, undo it and make it small. Okay, I'll put it here. Right, and then I'll do a new one. I'll put it here. Okay, winner means. Mm, what color? Green. Okay. Winner means. Win, winner means permanent. Okay, winner is permanent. Okay, winner is permanent. Loser is. Uh, what is loser in Malay? Yang kala. Okay, yang kala. Champion. Champion adalah uh, yang nombor per number one. Okay, number one. Okay, tournament. Tournament saya rasa ramai yang memang tahu lah. Biasa dalam DM pun uh, sebut tournament juga. Tournament ni um, satu apa perkataan dalam DM ni? Tournament per um, let me in Google. Do you know? Nobody can help me. It's just me talking to myself. Okay, one second, yeah. Tournament. Kejohanan. Okay, kejohanan. Dia pun macam persaingan lah. Okay. Kejohanan. Okay. Supporter. Supporter. Uh, penyokong. Penyokong. Tim satu. Pasu. Okay, satu pasu. Is it too small? Kasih besar sikit supaya semua nampak. Okay. Next, opponent. Tahu opponent. Opponent yang kamu punya lawan, siapa yang kamu lawan, okay, itulah kita panggil opponent. Captain, okay, ketua pasukan. Captain, ketua pasukan. Pasukan. Okay, race. Race, aku tahu kan race tu apa yang yang melibatkan uh, lumba uh, sama ada lari ke kereta ke okay, perlumbaan perlumbaan okay, goal maksudnya goal juga lah goal ni goal okay stadium stadium okay coach Coach ini adalah kamu punya pe, pelatih. Pelatih. Okey, siapa yang tidak memerlukan di sini boleh skip ini bahagian. Siapa yang memerlukan, sekarang kamu boleh guna ini dan faham kenapa it, it, dia punya 
ayat-ayat ini uh, uh, jawapan dia di sini contohnya April eight students eight students from Swallow School okay menyertai took part in a race ni race lari-lari untuk uh, mendapatkan dana sebanyak 650 pounds Okay, uh, dorang mendapatkan uh, dana itu untuk membuat charity, charity, okay, uh, kebajikan, kerja aman, okay, untuk membantu orang yang memerlukan. Okay, so that is part three. Okay, now we want to do number four. Okay, number four. Sebelum kita Uh, let's read number four. Which sports do you do? Sport, okay. Uh, ex sport apa ni? Exercise, ataupun uh, cara cara sukan, okay. Yang kamu buat. You need to write four sentences. Yang ini contoh tidak kira. You need to write four sentences. Yang contoh tidak kira. Okay, so. This is your number four. Four. Which sports do you do? Number one. Okay. Sebelum kita tulis ataupun kamu tulis, kita perlu tengok yang sini. Ada tiga cara buat yang kamu boleh tulis. Okay, number one, play. We use play plus ball sports. Okay, sport sukan-sukan yang melibatkan bola seperti such as football, tennis or basketball. We use the word play. Okay, for example, Ben plays tennis on Saturday. Okay, dia guna play sebab tennis ini sejenis bola, sukan bola. Okay, kenapa dia ada S? Okay, ini sebab Ben di depan ini satu orang. Okay, but when you do this one, yang kamu start dengan I, okay, tidak payah tambah S. Seperti ini, tiada S. Tiada S. Sebab I ini special. I ini special. Okay. Right. So, jenis pertama okay, adalah guna play untuk acara ataupun sukan bola. Okay. Yang kedua. Yang kedua. Kamu akan tulis do. Buat activity, activity. Contoh aktiviti judo, archery, gymnastics, okay, ka uh, karate, uh, I do uh, uh, yang aktiviti-aktiviti. Okay. Contoh gymnastics, okay. Kate does judo at school. Okay. Taekwondo, semua tu kita guna do. Kenapa ini does? Sebab di sini pun dia depan satu orang. Bila i, kamu tulis dengan I, kamu akan guna don, don, okay? Bukan eh, bukan don, do. Sama ada kamu do, you do. You do. You do, you do, what do you do, what do you do, so I do, I do, I do, I, I do gymnastics, I do judo, I do karate, I do taekwondo, okay, I do archery, uh, I do I do, uh, what else do you do? Uh, I do shooting. Okay. Okay. Okay, next, you have 
Yang ketiga, we use go dengan ing. Go dengan ing. Okay, what seperti swimming or running? Swimming or running yang melibatkan ing. Okay, kamu nampak patternnya yang ada ing. I go swimming in the park. I go running in the park. I go jogging in the park. I go swimming at the complex. Nah, bukan park. Okay, I go uh, kayaking um, near the uh, beach. Okay, yang ada ing. Yang aktiviti-aktiviti lain kamu guna do. Yang ada bola kamu guna play. Okay. So, try lain-lain punya cara kamu senaraikan empat. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so tiga, uh, lebih kurang tiga dalam kamu punya exercise book. Number one is this one. Okay, how many, how many words is people or person a person a person and then yang kedua senaraikan ini 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 di bawah ini oke okay, exercise 2 oke okay, di mana kamu sudah cek itu jawaban tadi oke okay. and then number 4 Okay, sambung dengan ini, number four. Okay, so itu saja untuk hari ini. That's all for today. If you have any question, do ask me in the WhatsApp group. If you have uh, any issues, also text me. If you don't understand anything, uh, you ask me. And I will see you again. Bye.